Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today I'm going to show you how to get a glass of beer like this from a machine like this. Okay then, so without further ado, let's open the box and get everything out. As if by magic then, it's all out of the box. So here we go, what have we got first? We've got a little brush here. So I should think that's for cleaning somewhere along the line. We've got a full comprehensive instruction book. We'll put that one over there for a minute. We've got a warranty card as well. We'll put that one over there for a minute. We've got a quick start guide. Now we'll keep this one out just in case, but we have on the inside of the machine, as you can see, I've opened it up. We've got a full set of instructions on there. So that's great. From what I've read so far, this is the chiller plate here. This is what locks the keg into place. We then shut the doors and we can serve the beer. We do need to, however, put the beer tap on top. This is the business end of everything, right? So this sits on top of the keg. We click it down. I need to put the handle on first or else we won't get any beer at all. That's it, that just slots into place. And to top it off, we've got a little fancy magnet here. Whether you want to put these on or not is up to you. And I have heard you can get customizable ones. So there you go. So that fits on there. Now, like I said, we put this on top of the keg. We then put out, have to put a little beer line in there. And then we put the keg into the machine, turn it on, fire it up, and hopefully we get a drink. Right, I'm going to go and get myself a glass and a keg and let's see if we can get it to work. Okay then, so we've got a lovely cold keg of Stella there, six full litres of it as well. When you order these, they come with a little nozzle on top and a bit of pipe. I did wonder how you're going to clean the machine, but you get a new piece of pipe every single keg. So to take it off, we just pull this little tab here. Oh, easier said than done when you're doing it for the camera. So you pull the tab across, that comes off, and your pipe and nozzle comes off there. So now we have to thread these into the actual tap itself. So I'll just grab a pair of scissors, cut this open, and uh, we'll fit it in. Well then, the hardest thing so far has been getting this out of the packet, but I've done it now. Right, we fit this in to the top here, and then this is what brings the beer from the keg out to the tap. You don't have to worry about cleaning lines because this is a clean line every single time. You do, however, rinse the tap through. I did that when I unboxed it, just to make sure there was nothing left over from the factory. And I suppose when you're changing barrels over, it'd be best to just give it a quick swill through, get rid of any residue. Now to fit this, we just put that in there. There's a little hole, there's an arrow in there as well, and it shows you, and I think we just poke that down. Well, that was easy. So that will go down to there. I can see where that fits. And then this fits in the top, right? So we've done that and that all fits in there perfectly. Now, I hope now we just put this on top of the barrel and we click it down. Now, you think that you'd have the sticker at the front, wouldn't you? But no, we need to get it through with these two flat sides here. The flat sides at the back so this can come down and lock it and the flat side here at the front so the tap can go in. So we'll push that down. I think you should hear a click. Oh, maybe not. Try again. Yeah, I heard a click then. That's clicked in. Ah, there you go, two clicks. Right, so we've got the tap on. Now the tap uh, and the keg all together need to go into the machine and sit on this chiller plate. So we'll pop it in there and lock it in with this on the top. There you go, as simple as that. We'll just push the doors to, and we can turn it on and see what we've got. Okay then, so we're locked and loaded and we've got the uh, keg safely in the machine. We've turned it on. When we first turned it on, we've got a reading on there of tw uh, 12 degrees C, I think, and we've got it down to 11 degrees C almost straight away, but it's been on for about 20, 30 minutes and it's come down to eight degrees C. Now, I don't mind drinking a lager at 8 degrees C. I've put the glasses in the freezer to chill down so it'll be a bit cooler. And I'm sure if we leave this a little bit longer, it'll chill down no problem at all. However, I'm interested to see, you know, what it tastes like and how it works. So I'm going to have a go now. Um, there's a couple of other numbers on there. We've got a 30 at the bottom. That's how long a keg lasts in there. That's how long it'll stay fresh for. Now, if you can make six, li six litres of lager last 30 days, then you're doing a lot better than me. So. 
uh, 30 days on there. You can press this, say you've changed the barrel halfway through, so we've been open for a few days, whatever, you can change that up and down. But this is 30, because it's only just been in there. And then this little gauge in the middle, it's like a battery gauge or a fuel gauge, just goes up and down and shows you how much you've got left in the keg itself. So if you've got one in there and one in the fridge pre-chilling, you're never gonna go wrong, are you? Right, let's get one of my chilled glasses and give it a blast. Here we go then, the moment of truth. I did work in a pub for a while before, so I put this underneath here. We'll pull the tap down as far as it can go. Now, from what I've heard from other people, you do get a bit of noise from the machine with it pressurising the barrel, and sometimes the first couple can be a little bit frothy, so we'll see how we get on, but as long as it tastes all right, that'll do for me. There we go then, we heard that pressurising building up in there. We've got a bit of a big head on there, you know, that's not really how I'd, uh, I'd like it. We have got a mark glass, it's 33 centilitres to, to this point, so we're not really that much short on beer. I'm sure in a, a few minutes that'll go down. Um, it is 8 degrees C, maybe that's got something to do with it. But we've got another one there, I'll give it a blast in this one and see how we get on. There you go, did a little bit better with that one, almost up to the line there. Just top of that one up a little bit. We've got a nice drip tray here. And the drip tray also catches any condensation from the barrel inside there. The big chiller plate inside there is cooling that down. You get a bit of condensation, it runs down and into this drip tray itself. Now, let's try and get this one underneath. Give me a bit more and then we'll have a taste. There we go, still a bit frothy, but you know what? I'll give it a blast, I'll see how we get on. Hopefully, it tastes spot on. Oh, oh my goodness. That is nice. That is just like a pub draft beer. It really is, you've got all of the sort of fizz without it being too fizzy. God, that's smooth. That's really smooth. Wow, I'm impressed with that. Cheers. Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Jimmy the Mower. I'll catch you on the next one.